Northern Iowa enters Arch Madness as the top seed regular season conference champs and sights set on a return to the NCAA tournament. The Drake Bulldogs have nothing to lose and meeting the Panthers for the third time. The Bulldogs were ready to play spoiler in St. Louis. Always tough to beat a team three times in a row. Drake looking for a little payback after losing big last week to UNI. Drake drops threes like it's their job. First Jonah Jackson with the triple, then Anthony Murphy getting in the mix. Doesn't want to see his senior season end here. Cans a three of his own. Murphy with 12 points today. You and I trying to answer A.J. Green who had 19 on the afternoon. He hits the pull-up jumper just outside the charity stripe. But Drake built a double digit lead before half in large part thanks to Liam Robbins muscling up the shot. Drake up 10 at half. Second half, you and I goes for a run. Spencer Haldeman stepping back, pulls up, knocks in a long two. Panthers are within five. Green missing the mark with his shot from long range. Fife though right under the basket for the putback and one. That gets the Panthers as close as they could come, getting it within two. But Drake never left the door open long enough. DJ Wilkins with the steal. Flips it ahead to Roman Penn for the acrobatic finish. Now Penn again under the bucket and into the bottom of the net. A career high 26 points for him as Drake pulls off the upset of the top seeded UNI Panthers 77-56. Hell, a big win certainly for the Bulldogs. And with more on that, Matt McCulloch is in St. Louis right now where Drake is keeping the dream alive. Yeah, Jack, absolutely keeping the dream and the hope certainly alive here. The Bulldogs made plenty of history today in their win over you and I. They were helped by a big, big by a big career high by one uh, Roman Penn who scored a game high 26 points. I was just feeling amazing today and I was hitting some shots. <laughs> Coaches definitely got on me uh, last night right after the game uh, that we won against Illinois State. They were like, this is the game. Like they how their how their defensive scheme is, they go under screens. And you know, I, I wasn't shooting it uh, as much as I should have been. So, you know, they told me to shoot it or we we're gonna basically lose. He was gonna need to score thirty for us to win and, and I wanted him to do that. He, I didn't care how many shots it took. Now to his credit, he, he came out, he was really aggressive and, and uh, he got close. He got to twenty six. <laughs> Relentless man. He he's the perfect point guard, you know. If we need a bucket, we go to Roman. He's, he's just a great point guard. I'm gonna miss playing with him. And we all have confidence in each other, but you know, just to see Roman, G, uh, DJ, like Noah, like everyone just made big shots and big plays. And you know, especially on the defensive end, like Tone was phenomenal. Uh, Roman as well, like DJ Garrett, like, they just were so sound on defense and so aggressive. It was just fantastic to see. This one comes at a bad time at the end of the year, you know, and it's the only one that we've had all season. And so one, I think once it, you know, the day wears off and you get a couple days past this, the you know, by the time you get to next Saturday and Sunday, you know, their job is to look at everybody's team sheet for the four months. And the guys have been terrific. So um, this obviously doesn't help, but it doesn't it doesn't take us out of it. This is a this is a four month deal and the guys have been awesome for four months. So the Panthers are gonna need a lot of help if they want to get into the NCAA tournament now. As for the Drake Bulldogs, they'll be back at it tomorrow, hoping to play for a chance to play on Sunday in that championship game. Tomorrow, though, they'll have to get through Bradley to get that done. All right, reporting in St. Louis, Matt McCulloch, Local 5 Sports. We are Iowa.